Namya opened all the doors and gave me a red carpet, loved by audience. Yes, I'm very successful. In the beginning, I had my reservations because I had only played sweet bahus and sweet characters. And I Welcome to Success Stories, Season 2, a talk show presented by Trident Communication in association with World Humanitarian Foundation. I'm Sneha, your host for today, and our guest for today is Suzanne Burnett. Suzanne, she is a German-born Indian television actress working in Indian television industry, also working in many of the web series in many other Indian languages. So today we will hear about her journey to success. Welcome, Suzanne, to our show. And how are you doing? I'm I'm good, Thiku. How are you? I'm very good, Suzanne. And I feel very good that you talk so well in Hindi. I'm very happy. I'm trying to ask you. I'm trying to ask you. It's great. It's amazing. Uh, Suzanne, you were born in Germany. What made you start your career in the Indian film industry? And please tell us about your journey in brief. Okay, so I didn't have any planning. I was just, um, I started acting in Berlin, in Germany. Or I had a chance encounter in Dubai and because of that chance encounter, I ended up. Indian culture is totally opposite to Germany culture and the language. How did you cope up with everything and what kind of difficulties do you face in the beginning? So uh, it was not the culture difference as such. It is not a thing about the culture difference. It was more, I had difficulties with Setka Khana, the timings of the shooting, the heat, uh, because you're shooting and when uh, shooting is going on in some locations, of course, you can't have a fan, you can't have AC. So I had more problems with that. And in Setka Khana, is me soda hair, is me mirchi hair, is me patani hai kya hai. So my tummy was going for a toss, and I got tummy teak nahi hai, then your brain is also not functioning. So I had more health issues than any cultural thing. So cultural was never a problem. Uh, Suzanne, you have a very good command on Hindi. You can speak very well. So how did you learn? Like, aapne kaise sikha Hindi bolna? And did you face, did you find any difficulty in learning the Hindi language? I love languages per se. And after 2005, I had a language or acting teacher. He had a training for especially for actors and uh, shooting. But he did not work with a foreigner. He was specializing in NRIs. Yahan shooting ke liya, ko, uh, training di, like Katrina Kaif, for example. So I had the same teacher, un, unhone mere saath kya nahi kiya. Wo itna kiya. I was like completely in shock. And kya mushkil hai Devna Gri, halka sa parne me ye mushkil hai mere liye. Me kabi kabi nahi samaj sakti ho ye abhi ye Hindi shabd hai ya Angrezi shabd hai ye sab se best hai. Agar me kuch I was trying to figure out what Hindi word is this and I'm trying to read it in Hindi and I'm like what is this what is this and suddenly I'm realizing this is a English word written in Devnagri so uh, I still have some issues more with the reading and uh, I can't write in it like in Akasa Bachi to I, I can talk to people so it's a beautiful language. It's a beautiful language and uh, it, it doesn't have such a difficult grammar. And sub's the best here. The way you write it is the way you read it. Read it. So it's German as a naya. You just read what is written. So how does industry treated you? Like how did you get your first assignment? That was this chance encounter in Dubai. Uh, I met uh, Adresina there through a production controller, a friend of mine, Raj Putran. And uh, Adresina is the, was the director of Astritra Ekrem Kahani and Hasratin and many, many other successful TV shows on Z. And he shot a movie in Dubai with Om Puri and some other actors. And there was a very small character in that. 
and because they needed a foreigner for that, I got the part. And uh, Ajay and I, we clicked. We started like we we had a common interest. I liked sitting next to him, seeing how he is doing the shots and how the acting is happening and how he's direct. I have a lot of interest in the whole process, not only the acting, but camera work, lighting. So I spent time on the set, even when I was not um, shooting. And we bonded and he invited me to come to India and I stayed with his uh, lovely wife, Sangeeta and his son. And uh, we became all friends. And I had my first holiday here, September, 2004. And after that, uh, I flew back to Germany and in December he called me and he said, You've been on the set of Astitra. I said, yeah, you like it? They're all lovely people, Andre. They're all lovely people. There's a character coming up in the show. And my heart was just bursting. I was just like, oh my God, all my dreams are coming true. So my first stint I had in, uh, I shot in Mumbai, but I also shot in the UK. So my character's name was Catherine, of course. Every <laughs> foreigner, they love to give the name. Catherine is very popular. And so that was my entry in the Indian television industry. I will never forget, I was in South Hall. We had shoot, we had shoot there and we were staying in South Hall and I had one day off and I was roaming around with Alug Nath's wife. And uh, we went to the shoe shop and I was looking at some chocolates or something, I don't remember. I just remember that the telecast had started and Ooh. somebody was coming and looking over the, uh, I was looking at shoes and they were poking over and they were like, aren't you Catherine from Astitwa? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so that's one of my fond memories. Yeah, it was, it that's was great. great. It must be a very uh, like amazing feeling, no? The people are recognizing yeah. you from your character. Yes, it is. It is a very, you feel very happy and very humbled at the same time that people actually, you know, they recognize you. And I always wanted to be an actor from the age of four. And I had a lot of like, not from my family side, but I had some problems getting where I wanted to be with the acting. And India opened all the doors and gave me a red carpet. And uh, then people giving me so much love from the audience side. That was, uh, and is still him. And so Suzanne, who is your like biggest support or uh, like who is your inspiration to be here where you are today? Um, support, always my parents. Both of them, they even, <laughs> I remember this, my, my mom used to drive me to ballet classes. My dad used to uh, help me and get me to places where I wanted to be for acting, uh, school plays and stuff. But my first play, my mom was super excited. I was so nervous, I had gotten fever actually. So on the premiere night, I had a hundred and something performing. So it was all a little a blur. But uh, I remember my dad, afterwards he, he was only concerned that i don't fall off the stage yeah it was, it was a theater it was like a 350 400 seater and we had this double stage an upper part and a lower part and he was worried that i will not know where the stage ends and i will fall into the audience so that's my dad for you very proud very happy and uh, that that was in 2001 in my first play and uh, professionally. And that is also a very sweet and fond memory. So like uh, we have, we all have ups and downs in our life. So how do you deal with your ups and downs in so many years of your career or your personal life? Um, we had a very tough patch, Akhil and I, both of us, my husband and I, when uh, work just dried up in between. Uh, we had a phase where nothing happened and uh, we didn't get calls and I don't know what happened. I had, we both had successful shows 2011. We both were very busy. I shot a movie, uh, a Bollywood movie. Uh, I did a Marathi show. I was in a, uh, I think a Z, yeah, again, a Z show. Um, Jeevan Sathi, great characters in it. It was a fantastic show. And Akhil was working in Uttran and he was in another show as well. And suddenly 2012, everything went like, absolutely quiet like some shayantra happened Hamari Beach, that they have the whole industry decided let's not call them for one year i'm like what's going on and then 2013 i got some work and 
then uh, Ashok came in 2014. And that okay. time was very tough. It was an emotional roller coaster because you don't really know what's going on. And with actors, you never know the next drop is coming where. And uh, now in this pandemic, uh, I, I turned uh, to Sadhguru, what helped me, yoga and meditation. So that was my saving grace in all of this. Um, taking the line, the only way in is, uh, the only way out is in. So yeah. <laughs> when you got, can't go out, go inwards. <laughs> yeah, go inwards because uh, I saw that whatever coping mechanisms and techniques and things I had to cope with ups and downs in life, they were not working. 2012 and 13 was really, really tough. And I, I thought, no, this is not the way to handle it. And his approach of telling you how to do it and the techniques he gives you that you know how to do it yourself. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to talk to anybody. I don't have to ask anybody. I just turn inwards and I know exactly how to get to a point where I'm feeling calm and blissful again. And that's amazing. That just opened all the doors sort of and uh, becoming really, really happy. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. That's true. That is the way of dealing with our negatives and all the things to cope up with the tech difficult times, actually. Hmm. So, uh, Suzanne, it has been a long time uh, to you in this industry. You have your favorite uh, TV shows uh, ke naam like our viewers who haven't seen like all of your shows you have done so far. Oh, no. Uh, I, I don't even know if they're running anywhere. I just know Ye Rishta Kya Kelata is running right now where I had a small part in 2016. Like a okay. special appearance. They said we will shoot with you for one week and then the character got such a good response that I was with them for like five weeks. And then the producer called me and said, I'm so sorry, but we can't drag the story anymore. Your daughter is married and you have to leave now. And uh, any chance we can bring your character back, we will bring your character back. But uh, Ye Rishta is running right now. So I know that for a fact because I get screenshots sent by my fans. They're kind of like, hey, the show is on. And I did this in 2016. And I still have fans from that time. I mean, it's been quite some years. Same goes for uh, uh, Ashok. People are still remembering Queen Helena. And now it is being dubbed in Kanar. So uh, somebody has dubbed me there, of course. Sounds very nice. I like it. And <laughs> running there right now. Otherwise, I don't really know where things are running right now. My web series, State of Siege, about the Mumbai terror attacks is on C5. So is Accidental Prime Minister. Acha, Akhil and I, we did one show together that, uh, that came on DD and they have uploaded all the episodes. Mera Dil Divana. So that's a show where we both were working in the same place and that was fun. It's very rare that a husband and wife can go for shooting together. Usually that doesn't happen. And that was a fun thing too. Okay, great. As an actress, uh, you are doing a lot many roles. So which role you find more challenging? Like a role which has a positive, uh, which is a positive character or the role which is more negative character. So which one you find more challenging? I played basically only one negative and that was in our show. And I had, uh, in the beginning I had my reservations because I had only played sweet bahus and sweet characters. And I was a little like, oh, how will audience react to it? And I want to be only loved kind of a thing. <laughs> you know, I don't want to have hate. <laughs> you know, that is a, is a badge of honor if your character is so convincing that people start hating you. So I was a little hesitant doing this character, but it was a character of a lifetime. And uh, besides the difficulty things, language was uh, mushkil. Yeah, it was a very difficult Sanskritized Hindi. As I said, I have used a shayantra. Yeah, shayantra is a shayantra that you normally don't use in your life. Yeah. Or, uh, shooting your bath, I was coming and I used to tell people Uske pas chaat, because I got used to that kind of a language and then uh, <laughs> I used to be like why are you using that word? I'm like, eh, hey, okay, okay. So but um, 
every character has its own difficulties, especially in the beginning. If you start a character, if you start a new journey, yeah, you might have seen that in uh, other uh, TV shows. Like uh, we are just watching a show called How to Get Away with Murder, and the actors are growing. I can literally see from the first season how much except for Viola Davis because she is a rock star. But I could see all the young actors that were casted, they have all this graph growing and growing and getting better and better. And it's so lovely to see it. We're now in season four. So I think what happens, the longer you do a character and the more the story evolves, the more you get comfortable in it, you start growing into the character, more colors are being given to the character. So that is a very interesting graph if you can get that, if you do something so long. And that sometimes is a little lacking in Indian television that especially the goody-goody characters, they don't have that much of a graph because they're only good. And the only characters that they're playing with are the negative ones. Yeah. Again, example in Ashok, Queen Helena, the um, creators were talking to me and said, okay, we will try to make your character more hated. So we're having this idea about you and your son and you have to kill him. And I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> you want more hate? Fine, let's do that. It's their product. I'm the actor. Yeah? If they want to take the story in a certain direction, I can understand it. I was like, yeah, it would be interesting to explore this as an actor, how and all this. But then what they did is they introduced all the flashbacks why Helena is the way she is. Okay. And they gave so many reasons and so many stories that people were like, Oh, poor Helena. I was like, okay, that backfired big time, yeah. <laughs> but I feel, I feel sometimes um, Indian television has a one dimension or two dimensions and they could, like, um, my character was modeled on Cersei. So I said, so do I get a lover in the show? And they're like, no, your mother, mothers can't have lovers. And I'm thinking, okay, we need to evolve out of this at least in web series, because saying that a woman cannot have a lover or be in a relationship just because she's a mother, I think that is in 2021 is not working anymore. But okay, that's just uh, my point of view in that respect. But a little bit more colors, you know, have a good character, but a good character also can slip out once in a while. Yeah. So you want a little bit of a color, a kaleidoscope, different, different angles. It makes a person more interesting. Great. Yeah. As we, as you told about women uh, situation. So what do you think about women all over the world? Like situation of a woman or what women thinks? Is it same like in the globally in India or it is different in the Germany or anywhere else in the world? situation of a woman is depending on in what social society she's living but the female energy is the same so i think that females are everywhere the ones who are nurturing and caring and loving and also working and doing and making things happen and uh, there is no difference if that is a, a housewife in germany struggling to have a job and a child and kindergarten and household or if it is a woman in india doing the same thing yeah, I think we are all facing the same problems. Mm -hmm. Where you are in a social structure and how much support you're getting from society or where you are in a geopolitical sense, that's a different thing. That would be a completely different topic and I'm not an expert on it as well. But uh, just seeing it as a woman, woman, women, I find a lot of empowered women in India, a lot of strong women in India and same goes for Germany. So, Suzanne, what are your hobbies? Like, what is your passion other than acting? Reading, reading, books, books. <laughs> I love, I, I'm an avid reader. I love to read. And uh, you would always see me on set with the book. And now, basically, all my books are on my phone <laughs> or on my reader. So, I, what is nice, because before I had to decide which book I want to read. And now it's all in my and I can just take it with me. So which is your favorite book? Favorite book or favorite author? I have, uh, I'm very fond of J.D. Robb. 
that is one of my weaknesses. I like reading that is actually Nora Roberts and she writes under a different name for J.D. Roth and that is Thriller. I'm very fond of thrillers. I have this, <laughs> I like to watch it on TV and I like to read about it. And uh, there's something about murder, mystery and who's done it that I'm very fond of. But uh, J.D. Roth, I'm hooked. I have all the books. I'm waiting when she brings out new ones and that's the only author I have this uh, relationship with. What are your future hmm? projects coming up? It's lockdown. We are all locked down. I was supposed to shoot a web series end of this month. And uh, I don't see that happening. I had an audition for a big Bollywood movie. And they were wanting to start shooting in Hyderabad on 15th this month. Oh. And it's, it's, it's nothing is happening. Uh, I was lucky that I was able to squeeze in a Malayalam movie between the last lockdown and this lockdown. So February, I had a chance to do a short film, Malayala movie, first time South, first time Kerala, Kochi, was lovely. And yeah. uh, I did a talk show in Ahmedabad. So that is also gonna come out. Uh, so then as our show says success stories, so mm. I would like to hear from you, uh, what do you, what do you think is a true success? Be happy when when you are at ease and happy in yourself that is a success i think uh, that that's definitely something where you because so many people are walking around especially in this time and everybody is having one thing or the other and i find it a success if i can go through a whole day without friction and i can talk to everybody be there for everybody be loving and caring towards everyone so i think that's a success uh, success in a material way, I don't see myself being successful, but in the sense of love by audience, yes, I'm very successful. So these two things are successful. That's a great thought, uh, Suzanne. I loved it. Thank you. And, uh, one last, uh, what message would you like to give to our viewers? Stay safe, get vaccinated and be blessed. Thank you viewers for joining us today with Suzanne Burnett and me on our show Success Stories. Stay tuned for more success stories coming up every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy.